Are we recording? Oh, so uh, I've never been on TV before. Hi there everyone, my name's Kev, Kev Burgess. The students call me Big Man Kev, it's uh, an, an affectionate term. And uh, you're actually here because the little scoundrels have been naughty today, so this is actually a, a detention. But that's a rarity, they're normally uh, as good as gold. It's a lovely college, it really is. I've been here 10 years, uh, graduated 10 years ago. I got a strong tutu at Hull. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they're a, they're a lovely bunch, they really are. I always find that the best way to communicate with the young people is to communicate with them on their level. So um, if one of the students gives me a bit, of, a bit of stick, I give them a bit of stick back. I'm not in detention. You're in detention. You've been bad. You're an now, idiot, sir. Just the other day, one of the students said, they said, Kev, I hate you. Can't stand you. I'm going to get my dad to come into the college to beat you up. So I said to them, let your dad come into the college. It's fine by me. Now suddenly, the young person didn't know how to react. Hmm? Mind games. OK. Detention. That's why we're here. Detention. Why are we here in detention? I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. This is what you should all be thinking. I've been bad. Mm. Yeah, that's what you shouldn't uh, this this looks it looks like I've been bad. It's not me. That I'm not in detention. You're in detention. You've been bad. You're an no. idiot, sir. So, like, big man Kev, absolute imbecile. He cannot work, cannot do anything right. He leaves for, leaves the room to take phone calls all the time, always on his phone. You know, like, I shouldn't be here. All I did was punch some girl in the face and she proper deserved it right. Like, she was just bitching, so. And that to you, imbecile. Absolute imbecile. Cannot do anything right. He's fully incompetent. Shouldn't be here, should I? Now, uh, we should all have some work to be getting on with. Um, can you hand that out for me, please, Constance? Thank you. Oh, one second. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll come down now. Uh, right, I've got some business to attend to, so stay here, do your work. You will notice we've got some uh, a film crew following you around, so. I know you all want to be film stars, but try not to let it put you off and just act natural. Any questions? Okay, I'll see you later. Right, um, Dabby? Dabby? Who's Dabby? It's Dave. Oh, I see that now. Um, being able to read, maybe I can't, but it's a life choice, isn't it? But anyway. Being able to read, it's paper, and paper means trees getting killed, and I'm sorry, I can't live without the trees. Um, but yeah, I can't read. Um, Tam, Tam, that's mine. Thank you. Cons, con, con. Ooh. Can you count me in? Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Trent Coleman, singer, actor, some might argue dancer, and of course, that's a dress code violation, teacher. That's me. Give them here. Sit down. Shanice. Shanice. Dave. She's so stupid. She doesn't even understand the words I'm trying to help her freaking understand. She's freaking stupid. She's freaking dumb. She's... <sighs> I think I despise her. Oh, he's so sweet and so understanding. I mean, he helps me with words I don't even understand. And he's just always there. I think I love him. I don't have another one.
I'm sorry. You have them right there. Yeah, but they're mine. Leave them alone, please. What are you doing? I'm trying to find a pen, so you want me to move on. Hi, I'm Tammy and I'm from Cambridge. I've recently moved up here thanks to Daddy's new job. I mean, it's very, very important though. He's come to be some form of MP up here. But that also meant that I had to transfer schools. And there's no private schools up here and I'm, I'm trapped. All these people, there's different people and I tried, I tried to escape and that's why I'm here. Please help me. Yo man, why are you playing so downbeat depressing music? My dog died yesterday! <laughs> Yo, my name is Mason Black and I'm from America. Where are you? Sorry, sorry. Uh, just, just for the purposes of the documentary, his name's Steve. He's from Clitheroe. Do it properly, Stephen. <laughs> I am Steve and I'm from Clitheroe. And he's one of our most promising students. Yo, I'm Dave. I changed myself to the teacher's car because they wouldn't accept vegans. And these people in there are not down to my vibe. Vegans forever. You know what? What? I love you. I love you too. Sir, are we going to do some work? It, yeah, um, so if you care to find me, up to the western sky, Wicked did a production of that, that rather. Um, Constance, come on, tell me, what does, re what does western sky represent? Um, Cowboys! Cowboys? Cowboys? How the hell did you get cowboys? Well, it says Western. Maybe this will help. Oh! <laughs> yeah, still can't read. Okay, let's sit down. Let's try a different question. What I learned in my years at RADA. Who knows what RADA stands for? Yeah. Royal Academy Dramatic Arts. Ooh. No. <laughs> Errol. Constance. Two for two. Um, Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. Beautiful. That's exactly how it's done. Take notes. Take notes. <laughs> Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. How about you come up here and write it? She spelt that wrong. Yep, I'm aware. She spelt it wrong. Sir, she spelt it wrong. That's right! We can all read it, it's fine. You want it to go on then? Yeah, come on I'll show you Oh, you back. really want to go? Come on then. Whoa, 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 whoa,